the Cunningham family. We're the Cunningham family. This guy. Dude, milestones, man. This guy's going homo sapien on us. Using tools. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a rudimentary start, but we all know where that leads. This is one of the, honestly, one of the first times, I think maybe the third or fourth time I let him hold a spoon because he's such a mess with it and throws it usually. And he is just all about it all of a sudden. Good job, buddy. Are you using that to scoop? Good job, man. Are you seeing this? Kate, you just learned to ride a bike and your brother just learned to use a spoon. This week was a little bit crazy amidst all the packing and getting rid of everything and rushing around and trying to get organized. We split town for a little bit and headed down the hill on Thursday for my mom's in Woodland, as we often frequent, and we had a little meeting um, in Sacramento for our business where Thomas and I got to do some presenting, which was fun, and uh, spent the day in Woodland on Friday, um, got to do some work, and Tom was so lovely to take the kids out on an awesome hike in Cash Creek area, even though he really didn't feel very good, <laughs> and it was a beautiful, beautiful weekend, fantastic weather, it was so sunny and awesome. And it just reminds me of, you know, being a kid, especially watching my kids run around in Woodland. And um, it's definitely bittersweet to know that that time is limited and they will have limited memories in Woodland, which is sad. I love Woodland and Thomas and I met in Woodland and we have so many good friends and so many wonderful memories. We got married in Woodland. Um, it will always hold a place in our hearts and it is so beautiful this time of year. Just so green and you know, everything's fresh and starting to sprout and um, it's just a really cool special place and we're gonna miss it a lot. And I'm glad that my kids will have it to visit and I'm glad that they've gotten so much time there as it is, but all the best things about Woodland are some of the things I'm looking forward to in our new place in Tennessee, just having so much space to run around and explore. And there's gonna be so much of that where we're going as well. So I'm so excited for that. Beautiful Yolo County, Northern California, where I grew up. have a little dinner with Kirsten and Matt Costello and Tony and Ryan Templeton. And Tom is sick with a head cold. <laughs> Very exciting. We do watch your vlog a lot. These are vlog Rad. subscribers and guest stars. Kirsten Costello and Tony Templeton. Made it. Can you guys tell a little tip about Living your life by design. And, and living your life having by design. You in our life. And following, yeah. having faith in whatever capacity. Share yeah. a little bit about that. <laughs> I think that choosing happiness is definitely the path less traveled. True. To do something that people are probably going to frown upon, which you guys had, we had. Um, and by that, she means nothing inappropriate. No, she sorry. Only <laughs> like quitting the job that you went to school for, you worked lifestyle. your life for, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just really being daring to venture away from the norm and um, really staying steadfast to what you really want your life to look like and how you want to make an impact in other people's lives. And um, and just staying true to that. What about dreaming big? What is your 
What's your advice for dreaming big? Do it. Do it. So a lot of people think we are cuckoo crazy for picking up our life. You are. And we're a little cuckoo crazy yeah, for moving you are. across the continental U.S. and relocating where we have no humans. People often ask us, you know, do you have family there? And the answer is no. Um, what do you guys think about that? What is your, what do you think, honest reaction to? I, I admire it. Baking? I think, no, I think it's, it's amazing. I think it's, it's courageous and I, I absolutely admire you for doing that. To just, I mean, you've only got one life to live and if you want to go and travel and show your kids another part of the country, and I think it's amazing that you not only dream about it, but you actually do it. Not surprised at all because you said you would. Even though, oh, because I said I would. Even though, Nashville's not a terrible place to go. If you have to move, people will visit you there. There's spiders. There are spiders. Lots of spiders. Stay tuned. Snakes. Snakes. Stay tuned. We woke up on Saturday morning and headed into San Francisco, which we had a full packed weekend planned. Um, we basically Ubered the city. <laughs> we headed to a park, which of course I can't remember at all what it was called, but it was just jam packed and it was a little bit chilly for me, like in the 60s, but everybody was just out and enjoying the sunshine. Um, tons of people, music, beautiful views. The sky was just perfectly clear. It was awesome. We had some ice cream. Uh, then we took another Uber across the city to, I um, can't remember the place that we went either. I can't remember the name of it, but it had beautiful views of the Bay Bridge and of the Golden Gate Bridge and of the city. So that was fun. And then we walked down to the Embarcadero and walked all the way along all the piers. And um, then we met up with Claire and Claire's husband for dinner, had a wonderful dinner and headed over to the Buena Vista Club and had the original Irish coffee. Hey. Whose feet are those? <laughs> I have blisters. Wendy has blisters from walking all around San Francisco, so she's gotta wear dad's shoes. And then spent the night and headed out early in the morning on Sunday to go back and pick up our kids in Woodland and continue the journey back home to Nevada um, up and over the mountain and we kind of got home just in time to pick up the house a little bit and then my sister and my brother-in-law came up um, Sunday evening to spend a couple nights with us to you know have again some more quality time hang with the kids Jeez Louise Gage you're crazy man and Chris is just the absolute best sport with my kiddos, and he plays with them, he wrestles with them, he lets them climb all over him. He's just going to be such a good dad. We got to um, do a little hiking with them. It was so nice out, just beautiful, beautiful weather, and um, we like to get out and hike as much as we can, especially because the weather's so nice. And we love it. We just picked up some sandwiches, hiked up to the, the creek, ate our sandwiches, of course did our team call as we were hiking. <laughs> just work where you are, right people? Driving the green over over the gnarly sand trap. I had just the worst line. The line, the line had to be. I had to conjure the fill. Time and time. Oh, okay, here, here, right in the middle of my life. 
Come back, kids, come on. Yeah, 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 we the comeback kids, come on.